you guys are going to stay tuned uh, to see me make some vegetable biryani which is aloo matar gajar very spicy and serve it with a chicken tomato curry which is a very different recipe that i'm posting today It's fabulous. So stay tuned. I poured salted water for the rice and some garam masala sabut. Adding a few fresh mint leaves, a little bit of neutral oil in a wok like this. I'm just going to take some sabut garam masala and I'm going to flavor the oil. I'm going to add some ginger, some garlic, some fresh green chili chopped, and to this some chicken rib bones. Okay, you know this really really well. I'm making a sabzi pilaf for that. I have three cups of soaked white rice. I'm going to strain the rice when it's al dente. Yani ki ek kani chhodni hai because isko maine milana hai baaki sabziyon ke saath. It's actually a sabzi biryani, not a pilaf. I'm just going to the chicken is releasing a lot of water. I'm going to add some salt to this and a little bit of dhada lal mirchi. I think the rice is ready. I'm going to strain this. The masala is already going in. Three fourths of a teaspoon each of red chili powder, turmeric powder, and coriander powder. No cumin powder. Now this has to sauté really really well. It's happening well and doing its best. And I'm going to add onions to some hot oil for the rice. And now it's time to add the tomato paste. I'm going to add at least two to three teaspoons. That was four. I'm going to mix this well. Sorting that well, and in the onions, I'm going to add some curry leaves and three, four dried red chili balls, some coriander, whole, and the same with cumin. And next up, I'm going to add black cardamom. I want the biryani to taste the black cardamom because I'm multitasking. Before that, I'm going to add some water to the chicken, at least about a cup. And here I have some fried onions. I'm gonna add about a fistful and a half of fried onions and mix it. Mix that. Okay, on medium heat, I'm gonna cover and cook this. The onions for the vegetable biryani is also getting nice and light golden. I'm adding about a teaspoon each of ginger and garlic chopped. Now adding three chopped potatoes. Adding a cup of peas and a cup and a half of carrots. Sauteing this really well. A tablespoon of this beautiful tomato paste. 50 grams of biryani masala. Mix that well so that the masala goes into the sabzis. We need to let the sabzis cook a little bit. So I'm gonna add half a cup of water. Okay, let's take a look at the chicken. Just had a bite. It is fantastic. I'm just gonna add some green chilies and obviously a little bit of coriander. Cover this again and turn off the fire. The vegetables have cooked. I'm adding one cup of yogurt. Mix that. Adding the green chilies. And some mint and some coriander, and I'm going to separate this uh, egg curry al dente rice, and I'm going to put that on top. I have some food coloring. You may also put some zafran with it. Fried onions, mint leaves, coriander leaves, and I am just going to show you the next step. And how could I forget some garam masala palm? And I've added some rubbed between the palms kasuri methi. Take the back of a knife or a spatula and push down like that, so the steam rises to the top. You've seen me do this many times. It's done for sure, and I'm just going to dish this out. Aren't you impressed with the color? So let me tell you, if you use tomatoes, the color wouldn't have been as nice. So the colors actually come from the tomato paste. I am just going to pile on the curry. I'm going to add some kachumar salad, which is my favorite salad to have with the vegetable biryani and chicken curry. I'm a big fan of biryani, whether it is vegetable biryani or it is any other type. But there's really something about biryani with aloo gajar matar, and uh, the rice is perfect. This chicken curry is very different, guys. You have to make it. It's one of my favorite recipes. Oh, okay, this is comfort food. I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you for watching.